Hey YouTube, Adam X20 here. Today my MP3 player broke. It's a cheap MP3 player. It's an RC3, excuse me, RCA MP3 player. I got it at Menards for 15 bucks because I got it because this one, which has lasted me a really long time and still works, is only 512 megabytes on it. And I need more room than that. So I got this one. I thought it was kind of cool. I had some regular features, and this little screen lights up. And uh, I got a kitty outside. And um, it worked, but I was doing dips on my walker. If you've seen the walker in the background, <laughs> it's my my ghetto dip machine, and I bumped it. Really, that's all I did. I bumped it, and it stopped working. So I thought, well, what's going on? So I tried to turn it on, and it doesn't work. So I don't know how, but I broke the power button on it. I like every other button works, but the power button. And the power button's pretty necessary to start the device. So I don't know what happened. So I'm in the need of a new MP3 player, probably something more expensive than $15, which really was just kind of an impulse buy. I thought, wow, that's a cheap MP3 player, and you know what? It is cheap. Fabrica Enchine. So I need a new MP3 player. Other than that, today has been going okay, doing nothing, really. Just taking a break from coding, getting on... Uh, my X Factor. Um, I got this Dynaflex thing, which is actually kind of cool. You can't start it like they can on YouTube. They should just start like this, and I can't do it. I use the little string because apparently I'm not strong enough. I want to get a bigger one, though. So that's only 35 pounds of tension. You get one for 50 pounds of tension, but it's like 100 bucks, and I don't want to spend 100 bucks on something like that right now. So this is to work the grip and the forearms, which works pretty good. Right now I'm just focusing on my legs because um, my legs are a weak spot for me. And uh, I'll work on my legs and then I'll work towards the middle and get my abs somewhere after that. And then today um, I just read on Facebook, uh, connect... Your Shape Fitness Evolve is coming out with Your Shape Fitness Evolve 2012 uh, coming out in November and I think I'm going to put that on pre-order and maybe get the UFC one or maybe to get them both or maybe not. I really like those Kinect games but my biggest problem is I like to play with my projector because it really has, I mean it's 8 feet maximum is as big as it can get. So I like to play right against my wall, but the sensor, the actual projector gets in the way. So I'm gonna get a mount for my ceiling and put my Xbox up there, and then eventually get a second projector for my multi-touch tabletop. But that's gonna be a while. That's in the plans, it's in the working. It's not gonna happen today. Um, as for my multi-touch tabletop, that's going to be coming in the future. I'm um, getting this last debt payment off, so I'm done paying on all these computers that I bought. And, um, and then it's going to be, uh, first I'm going to spend some money on myself, which I haven't done in a while. And then I'm going to, after I do that, I'm going to look at building the table. And all that money is going to go right into building a, a multi-touch tabletop. The first thing I need to do is get plexiglass. I want to get a thick, sheer sheet piece of plexiglass so I can have the actual tabletop uh, sheer piece of plexiglass. That's that's going to be sick. And uh, I've t I think I've talked about it before on my YouTube Orbit channels. If not, I go to the I look at the NUI group and UI group. And UI stands for New User Interface. And they got a they got a software. And recently, I think a month or two ago, they updated their software, so now they, they offer multiple camera support, which is great because it'll reduce the amount of uh, 
lag. It will increase the frames per second when you're uh, scanning, you know, touching the screen. So it will translate a lot nicer. Um, so yeah, I had a pretty good birthday. And um, just kind of kicking back for a while. Trying to get in, trying to stay in shape as much as uh, not get out of shape. Um, and yeah. So far, so good. Um, mm, mm, mm. About my um, fireworks videos, I want to. I wanted to put those fireworks videos up, but I'm afraid if, that if I do, they're not going to look good because the Sony bloggy the, the lenses don't. You know, they don't really focus right. And that's why they got Sony Vegas Max or Vega Max, whatever it is. Sony Vegas Max 10, where it allows you to take the, the 3D stereoscopic images and put them closer together so the 3D effect is cleaner. Um, and I just don't have $600 for it. And I don't know. I just think it, would, it wouldn't be good if I put them up. Because the fireworks are so far away that you get like a really bad 3D effect. In fact, you get no 3D effect. The only thing I could even try and do is uh, YouTube allows you to bring the images closer together and that would be the only thing I could even try and do. And I just don't have the time for it. So I don't, I don't plan on doing it. So I'm sorry, no 3D fireworks videos. Um, I'm going to keep them. Um, if I ever run into the money to buy Sony Vegas Max, you know, then I can do that, but by that time there will be something even better, and maybe something free, open source. Who knows? Well, anyways, I'm going to go back to listening to Children of Bodom. Um, bye.